Hi everyone, it is Monica here from TV and Popcorn.com and I am coming to you with a little quick video and this is especially for all of my awesome subscribers who have been hanging out with me for the past year and some months because I, I launched my first video I want to say back in January of 2014 which was awesome and I came out swinging reviewing my favorite all-time favorite show Revenge and I kind of grown and added a few shows to my roster as the year uh, progressed and as Revenge ended its last uh, and final season now I stopped reviewing Revenge along the way because I did not like where the show was going and if you go back and listen to some of my previous reviews on Revenge you'll find out exactly why I don't want to linger too much telling you about that <laughs> but yeah so I added a few more shows so this is super cool the summer has gone by I haven't reviewed any shows this summer and that is because I really have not gotten into any new shows other than my favorite fall lineup which I'm gonna tell you a little bit about right now as of I would say the past two weeks or so I've been really really binge watching Nikita when I have time I love Nikita that was my all-time favorite show before revenge and then Nikita ended its final season in season four and I know it got a little shaky for a lot of the fans in season three but I love Nikita so if you enjoyed Revenge I strongly recommend going and watching Nikita on Netflix they just recently added it as of this month and so I know they had the movie on there but they never had the show so it's really cool to see Nikita available now on Netflix so definitely go and check that out I finally I, I skipped a, a long episodes I knew some of my favorite shows uh, or episodes in Nikita so I've been skipping but I did watch the whole season four which was six episodes for, so they can wrap up the entire series which is really cool so I am coming back like the fall <laughs> I kind of went away <laughs> when all of my my uh, fall shows went off air and I am now coming back with all the fall show premieres which is super exciting I'm gonna be here with you guys I'm gonna be reviewing first and foremost I gotta say Gotham I love Gotham I love Batman so I was really excited to see them come out with a show about Gotham City and it betraying Batman's life before or portraying betraying you guys <laughs> okay portraying Batman's life before he became Batman when he was a youngster and you know it was the the days and the weeks ahead after his parents were shot and killed so we get to see kind of like the backstory leading up to all of that so I would definitely be here to review Gotham this season I will also be here to and, and Gotham's in season two you guys this is season two of Gotham and I will be here to review The Walking Dead which will be premiering on October the 11th I'm super duper excited about this we left off in a really really crazy place if you have not seen the ending of The Walking Dead for this was season five you guys got to go watch it get all caught up so we can get into it for season six super excited about it I will also be here to review and I'm kind of shaky on this but I have hung out with the scandal fans a little bit um, in some of my reviews and I had to do one major video review on scandal due to them almost kind of appearing to have killed Jake off and so I had to jump on really quick and, and put my two cents in after holding off from doing it I had been blogging about scandal on my TV and popcorn.com but I had never done a video review until then so I kind of got into it before the it, the fall wrap-up of scandal and it's I believe it was season four and I am going to try my best I don't know maybe review Grey's Anatomy and how to get away with murder which I was reviewing how to get away with murder in its first season really excited about season two and to see where it is going not sure where it's going right now it was very interesting starting off we saw a lot of scenes um, from the premiere we saw them a lot as the season went on in the first season and it finally kind of wrapped up and we saw what happened to um, oh gosh I can't even think of her name right now 
I, I got to get my name, my characters back right. Annalise, Annalise's husband, we, we finally got to the bottom of what happened to him, but now we are having to find out who murdered Rebecca and left her body in Annalise's basement which was absolutely crazy. So if you have not caught up on season one of How to Get Away with Murder, you have to so that you can come back and review these shows with me. And I've also been reviewing Last Man on Earth, which is hilarious to me. At first, I was kind of like, uh, what is Last Man on Earth about? Like, how can you make a movie about one man on Earth? You know, because at first, I really wasn't thinking that there could be more characters added to it. But Last Man on Earth really cracks me up. So we'll see where it goes as far as its season two coming up this fall as well so I'll be adding more shows as we go along haven't really watched any type of summer shows I have seen a lot of movies but did not make the time to actually come and do a video review but do not beat me up about that you guys I, I wanted to I like to be able to sit down and do it right and not just be rushing through and and doing videos take time so I, I haven't put in that time to do it but I did see Mad Max I saw Jurassic Park let me see I saw Terminator which I cracked up about I could not believe that they brought Arnold back and he fought his younger self which was super super historic to me <laughs> when it comes down to the classic Terminator and you know Terminator 2015 was super cool um let's see what else did I see in the theaters I want to say I saw Fast and the Furious, and uh, let's see, I want to say those are my top four that I saw, but that I, I did not do a review on, but I enjoy each and eleven last one of them, and Mad Max was absolutely crazy, so if you haven't seen it, you have to check it out, I recommend all of them, honestly, they were worth my, I went during matinee time, so <laughs> they were worth my five fifty six dollars and if your matinee isn't that cheap I'm sorry I've heard how bad matinee prices have gone up in in the recent months and years for some certain cities and states but I'm a Georgia girl so it's still pretty good here I hope it stays that way so that's it I will be back I'm back with everyone if you are a subscriber of TV and popcorn right now thank you so very much for subscribing you know you guys rock please leave comments in the comment section let me know what shows you'll be watching this fall and if I've listed any shows that you may um, enjoy my reviews on, hang out with me. I, I really appreciate you guys and I love commenting back and engaging. And if you are not a subscriber, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber because I have so much fun with TV and popcorn and really enjoy discussing the shows coming up and coming forth. So I appreciate each and every last one of you. And this is Monica. You can check me out at any time at www.tvandpopcorn.com until my next video you guys have a wonderful fab tabulous whatever time of day it is that you are listening to my little video talk to you later bye bye